the honourable member for Cape Breton Centre. Mr. Speaker, my question is for the Minister of Labour. Firefighting is a dangerous work. Firefighters risk their lives in emergency situations on a regular basis. But the danger doesn't end when they leave the site of the fire. Fires are more toxic now than they have ever been before. According to a recent study by the National Institute for Occupational Health and Safety, firefighters have a significantly higher incidence of cancer than the general public, regardless of their race or gender. Mr. Speaker, does the minister agree that this situation constitutes an occupational health and safety crisis for the firefighting profession? The Honourable Minister of Labour. Mr. Speaker, I'd like to thank the member for the question. I'd like to thank all our firefighters and first responders for the tremendous work they do every day on behalf of Nova Scotians. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, this is actually an aspect of, um, of uh, the workers' compensation that we are actually looking at as a government because uh, it has been brought to my attention that other provinces have more robust and other provinces have less robust uh, programs in place for our firefighters. So I have asked workers' compensation to actually do a jurisdictional scan across the country, bring that information back to me, and look at what cancer coverages we do have for our, our, fi our firefighters. I will add, Mr. Speaker, as well included in our firefighters, I'm actually asked workers' compensation board to also look at our volunteer firefighters because they're exposed to the same risks in terms of um, cancer in terms of even PTSD and I've also am looking into extending our PTSD coverage to that group because they deserve it. Thank you Mr. Speaker. The Honourable Member for Cape Breton Centre. Mr. Speaker, Nova Scotia was a leader on this issue in the, in the early 2000s. We were one of the first provinces to implement presumptive coverage for firefighters. We are now at the back of the pack compared to other provinces. Our legislation has not been changed for 15 years. Firefighters in Nova Scotia have been calling on this government to update the list of cancers firefighters have presumptive coverage for, and I'll table that list of updates that they are seeking. <laughs> Mr. Speaker, will the minister commit to updating the Workers' Compensation Act to expand presumptive, presumptive coverage for all cancers related to firefighting for both paid and volunteer? The Honourable Minister of Labour. And Mr. Speaker, once again, I will repeat that this was brought to my attention, and when it was, I engaged with Workers' Compensation Board to give me a jurisdictional scan to tell me what our options are. And Mr. Speaker, that work is underway, and when that work comes to me, there uh, could be changes to what presumptive coverages there are. But Mr. Speaker, I don't have that information. Workers' Compensation is bringing it to me. And Mr. Speaker, when it comes to me, our government will look at it. Thank you.